Alright guys, Shadow 382 here. This is gonna be my I think it's my I think it's my first video game review that I've done for this channel. Except for those like little ones that I did in my last video. But those aren't really reviews. Well, I'm gonna do this full on review for Final Fantasy I mean the city of Final Fantasy. So let's get started. So, as you can tell by the name, it's Final Fantasy, obviously. And, well, I picked up the guide for it, too. It has the first ten characters from the series in it. There's Warrior of Light, Ethereum, Onion Knight, Cecil, Bartz, Terra, Cloud, Squall, Zidane, and Tidus. So, um, yeah. So, this game is pretty much the Super Smash Brothers of Final Fantasy on the PSP. Load data. Um, I only got this game for Christmas, so I'm not that far into it. Sorry, guys, hold on. Okay. So let's go to the Magnet real quick. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Magnet. So every day you play, you get letters from the Moogles, I think, yeah. And you get 30 PP from it. And then there's another Moogle that, like, talks to you and stuff. And, um, I don't know what that AP thing means right there for Monday and Tuesday. But, it only says I played for three days, because I kind of switched around the dates to get more PP. And for the PP, you go to the PP catalog, and you can buy stuff like characters, costumes, icons, stuff like that, and voice samples. So, um, I still have a couple characters left, and for story mode... I'll get into that later, but let's start a little quick battle. As you can see, there's the Final Fantasy people. Final Fantasy 1, there's Warrior of Light and Garland. Final Fantasy 2, there's Syrian and... Well, I don't have the... I don't have the actual villain yet. But it's the Emperor. And then there's Onion Knight and Cloud of Darkness, Cecil and Golbez, Bart and X Death. I, I just said that, didn't I? Yeah. I'm so stupid. <laughs> yeah. Bart and X Death. Then there's Terra and. What? Okay, there was Bart and X Death, but I don't have X Death yet. Then there's Terra and Kefka. There we go. Then there's Cloud and Sephiroth, Lee Squall. Sorry, I don't think I'm hard too much. The Squall and Ultimatia. I'm looking through the guide right now. That's why I'm taking a long time with this. Zidane and Kuja, yeah, and then Tidus and Jack. So, uh, my, I have three favorite characters, that's Cloud, Squall, and Tidus, so I'll just pick him, and then he'll fight Jack. Because I like pitting the same characters against each other, but that The gameplay in this, uh, in this game, it's kind of confusing, but once you learn how, it, you get used to it really fast. So I'm going to switch the BGM to One Wing Angel, because Final Fantasy VII is awesome. Now, I'm not going to stress too much over the gameplay, because I know the quality is really sucky right now. 
And I'm looking off my camera. Why am I doing that? I'm like losing. And another. Sorry, I'm just obsessed when he says that. So yeah, X is for jumping. And if you press R and triangle, it's like a dash thing. Uh, circle is for your weak attack, which which actually does no damage to the HP gauge. It just lowers his bravery. And the square button is for HP attack that actually take your opponent's HP down. And the analog stick is the move, not the control pad. And besides that, the only stuff you really need to know is, uh, guarding is, what is it? That's trying, no, that's the R button. So that's pretty much all you need to know. And then that, that was my, like, ultimate attack, I guess, or whatever. But that's enough of that. So, the story mode, let's go into that. All the characters, you, you start off with the characters fighting for Cosmos, because Cosmos and Chaos are at this huge war right now. And, um, they're all searching for these crystals. And I think once they gather all the crystals together, they can stop Chaos's reign, but that's not necessarily true, and I'm not going to reveal any spoilers for you, so... Yeah, I still have to do... What is it? Warrior of Light, Story, Onion Knight, Cecil, Bart, Terra, and I think that's it. And then I have to do Shade Impulse, and I have no idea what that is. So... And then there's arcade mode, which is where you use preset characters and go through a whole bunch of battles. And then there's the museum, where you can view voices, icons, like character files, and uh, look at your saved battle replays. So, this is pretty much it. I have to say, when I first played it, I was very satisfied. And... I actually never played a Final Fantasy game before Final Fantasy 7, yeah, and that was the only one I played, and I, I actually felt really home with this game, even though I didn't know some of the characters, so even if you've never played Final Fantasy before, or like you've only played one, like me, I've only played 7 and Crisis Core, um, it's still a really fun game. Like, my friend, he's he's only played, like, Kingdom Hearts, and he's dabbled a little in the Final Fantasy VII, and he's, he still really enjoys this game, so I think anybody who has a PSP will love it. Um, I have to say, I give this game mm, 9.5 out of 10. It's, it's really good, so. Yeah, that was my review of Final Fantasy Dissidia, Dissidia Final Fantasy. Whatever you want to call it. So, shout out to 32. Catch you guys later.